The Chicago Cubs have made a minor league signing today, bringing back someone from last year's team. Welcome back to the channel. I am Gillis TV here on Clemox. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button as we are only three away from our goal of 4,000. Thank you guys for all the support. Over the last few months, it's been really nice to see all the support. But let's get into it. The Cubs have signed right-hander Mark Leader Jr. to a minor league deal reports from Patrick Mooney of The Athletic. Leader will be in the major league camp competing for a spot on the roster. Leader, who will be 32 in March, is coming off a strong campaign where he served as an optional death arm for the Cubs. He made four starts and 31 relief appearances, tallying 67 and two-thirds innings last season with a 3.99 ERA. He struck out 25.9% of batters he faced while walking only 8.9% and gained grounders at a 48.9% clip. He also made six AAA starts, posting a 5.32 ERA despite a 34% strikeout rate and a 6.4 walk rate. His batting average on balls in play was .333 in the minors versus a, two point, or a .251 in the majors, and his strand rate was also higher in the show. That was generally solid showing, but Leader got nudged off the roster in January when the club added Air Cosmer. Leader went unclaimed on waivers and was eligible to elect free agency by virtue of having had a previous career outright. After just over a week on the open market, Leader is now a Cub again, though without a spot on the roster. He'll head into spring training and try to earn his way back onto the 40-man, though he'll have less roster flexibility if he secedes. He now is out of options, preventing the club from freely shuffling him to the farm and back, which they did four times last year. The, the Cubs' bullpen will likely top, be topped by Brandon Hughes and Brad Boxberger, followed by the names like Al Albert... Azole, Wick, Merriweather, who they just got off from the Toronto Blue Jays, and Michael Rucker. Later, we'll be competing with other non-roster invitees like Vinny Natoli, Tyler Duffy, and Eric Stout for a job in the mix. If he succeeds in getting back on the team, he can be cheaply retained for further seasons as he just two years of service time and has yet to qualify for arbitration. Sorry, I just woke up <laughs> and started doing this video. But this is a guy who they're familiar with who has, you don't see this very often, more success in the big show than they do in the minor leagues. It is weird to see that, but the strikeout rate's really good for him. The walk rate's really good for him. He's more of a fly ball out kind of guy. He does get grounders from time to time. But this is a good signing by the Cubs where it's your competition is good for teams and we've seen it a lot in every sport is you bring in people you're making competition to make that team even better and I believe later could push like the non-invitees of Tyler Duffy and Eric Stout to push them even harder to get onto the Cubs roster so this is just a good signing overall and Worst case scenario, you before the roster is finalized, you send him to AAA and he stays there until you need him. So like I said, it's a good signing. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Like I said, this is Gillis TV here. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you on the next one.